YouTube, I'm back. So uh, there's a new anime on my channel. It's called Tower of God. And the first episode left a really good impression on me, you know, because I thought it was a really, really good start for a new anime, you know. It seems like it's an anime adaptation of a webtoon series that basically had a partnership with Crunchyroll to develop, you know, an anime about that series. So that's quite interesting. And you know, uh, the episode and everything in it was great, so let's get right to it, man. First of all, the beginning of the episode was really weird. I was really confused because I didn't really know what the hell was happening. But it seems like the story is about a girl named Rachel and a guy named Bam. And it seems like maybe they're also lovers. I'm not really sure about that, but one thing that I'm sure of is that Rachel kind of saved Bam's life. And because of that, the only reason for Bam to live, you know, in his head is Rachel. You know, the only thing that matters to him is Rachel. And Rachel, for her, is to attain her dream. That's why she wants to climb the Tower of God. That's what I got from, you know, this week's episode. So, that's kind of a, a big contrast, you know. The guy wants to live for Rachel, but Rachel, not that she doesn't care, but she cares more about you know her dream to get to the sky the stars you know so that was kind of an interesting contrast of the two we don't know where they're from exactly you know we've had some clues in the episode that where they're from is not a good world you know so that's why rachel wanted to get out of it and where they were when they kind of entered the tower of god was kind of weird you know it was a big ass door but they were also on it you know so it was it was weird i did it was weird but it was pretty cool we saw rachel enter it uh first and then a little bit later there was a hand that got um bam you know to enter the door so that was kind of weird it seems like maybe someone or something got him to enter the tower of gods you know so that was that was really weird but also that was a pretty cool you know kind of shot in the episode one thing that i want to say about this week's episode that i think we'll have throughout uh, the series is that the animation and the art especially the art i really like it a lot you know it's it's fluid and i really like the way that they did that so shout out to the animators and uh uh, stylist of the <laughs> episode i guess but yeah man i really like that f about um the anime right now so obviously something that i didn't talk about is that if you are able to climb on top of the tower of god you can get whatever you want you know so that's why rachel went there it's because she wants to realize her dream but uh yeah man when uh, bam entered i guess the tower of god's lobby uh, we encountered a new character. His name is Edon, and he's basically the gatekeeper, you know. So that was kind of interesting. His appearance was kind of weird, you know. He had sharp teeth. He was smaller than Bam, you know. It was kind of weird. But um, for Bam to go to the Tower of God, he has to pass a test first, so that you know he can he to see if he's actually strong enough to get through the tower of gods you know because if you're not strong enough you'll you you'll probably die you know so that was really interesting a little bit later in the episode we encountered another new character her name is yuri and she's the princess of the kingdom of jihad we don't know a lot about the kingdom of jihad except the name so i can't wait to know know more information about that kingdom and Yuri, the new character that we were introduced to, I really like her design, it's pretty simple, you know. And she was accompanied by one of her friends, I guess, his name is Evan, he's pretty small, you know, so he's just one of, of the other characters that we were introduced to in this week's episode. So anyway, the test that Bam has to pass is basically to destroy a kind of magic black ball so that he could get to the Tower of God, you know and to get to that ball he had to get through that thing right there you know that monster right there which is pretty terrifying you know a lot of teeth it's big as hell and obviously we don't know we don't really know who bam is so we don't know what is the extent of his power but uh one of the things that happened is that uh, yuri the princess gave her strongest sword to him so that he can 
you know destroy uh you know the black ball so that was pretty cool of her to do the craziest thing that happened in this episode is Bam getting swallowed by that big ass hill so that he could defeat it in s by doing it inside of it, you know, so basically doing a Bob Moby Dick, you know, so that's how he kind of defeated it for a moment and then, you know, he went for the black ball to destroy it and he couldn't do it at first, you know, because I guess he wasn't strong enough and when he was doing that we saw a flashback of him you know it seems like he was underground he had long hair he, he he it looked like he was you know poor you know and the person that saved him was rachel so that's really interesting because the only reason that he wants to live basically is for rachel so i'm guessing that that's the reason why rachel is basically the only person that he knows i guess and the only per person that he wants to know so while he was thinking of that um you know it was it was heartwarming to see that rachel saved him but at the same time to see that he left uh she left him to, uh, for her dream just like that is just kind of sad you know after the flashback while bam was trying to destroy the black ball evan yuri's friend told bam to ask the sword for help and that's what he did you know he asked the sword for help and there's a lady that appeared i was kind of shocked i didn't think that that would happen but that lady actually helped uh, bam destroy the black ball and you know that was quite interesting because yuri tried to do that forever and she never appeared and the only reason why she appeared is because bam is cute and he's a man you know so that was really funny in my opinion but yeah man bam was able to destroy the black ball and he entered the tower of god you know and he's on the first stage i think and the first stage is quite interesting it seems like there's 400 people on that stage and only 200 people will be able to pass that stage and you know climb the tower once again so that was quite interesting it reminded me of the hunger games in a way you know because they have to kill each other to survive basically and some of the characters that we saw that i thought was pretty interesting is that guy right there so we don't know who that is we just know that he's a kind of lizard and he has a special sword you know it seems like it has the same mark of the sword that bam has so that's going to be uh, cool to see how his sword works you know and he seems pretty strong and you know uh he he, he looks pretty weird you know that cut with the green skin you know <laughs> it's pretty weird but the whole episode was weird so I, I kind of can't wait to see what this character can do you know because i really like the design then there's that other guy that we've seen a lot in the previews and the trailers for the tower of god anime i think he's gonna be one of the main characters we don't know his name either but uh, like i said i think he's gonna be one of the main characters and i can't wait to know more about him you know because he, he encountered bam at the end of the episode while there was two other enemies near them you know so it seems like we'll get a little bit of fighting in next week's episode but yeah man the first episode was pretty informative you know tower of god anime it seems like it's gonna be one of the best anime of this spring you know so i can't wait to see what's coming next uh, you know the tower of god the wish that they can have while they go on top of the tower of god you know the story between rachel and bam you know that all of that is interesting to me so i can't wait to see what's coming next but yeah man i will do tower of god anime reviews every wednesday so subscribe for that but i also do other anime related things like black clover reviews on tuesdays um i do one piece reviews on saturdays i also do the last boku no hero academy review for season four this saturday because season four is coming to an end so stay tuned for that uh so that online alicization war of underworld is coming coming back later this month so stay tuned and then i do um I will do uh, in time both on Auto Next Generation reviews on Sunday. So stay tuned for all of that. Let me know what you thought about this week's episode in the comments down below. And let me know what you think is going to happen next. Um, like and subscribe would help my channel a lot. And, um, you know, thank you for watching. Follow me at Anime Specialist on Twitter and Instagram. And I'll see you in the next video, man. Anime Specialist out. Peace.